Welcome again to Monitor Field Academy. Today, I'm going to teach on tenses. We'll say that there are three main types of tenses. These types are present tense, past tense, and the future tense. We'll say that each of these three types mentioned above is divided into four categories. These four categories include simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. This makes to have a total of 12 categories of tenses. In today's session, I'm going to deal with the first type of tenses, which is present tense. Now, in the present tense, we are going to deal with it throughout all the four categories. As we've said that, the first category is simple. Now, we are going to deal with simple present tense. We have different examples of sentences which are in simple present tense as you see here. The first sentence is, James sings a song every day. A second sentence is, my children sing a song every day. A third, they sing a song every day. A fourth sentence is, he or she or it sings a song every day. Now, in these four examples, you may find that when we use a single name, when we use a single name or a pronoun, he, she or it, on the main verb, we should add the word s. But it depends on the kind of a verb. For example, if it is a verb like go, like go, it becomes goes, goes. So here we add es. Now to add s or es depends on the kind of a verb you have. Uh, also, for the pronoun like they and we, or nouns which are in plural, a verb remains in its infinitive form. As you see here, they sing. My children sing. So my children is in plural also. I have said they or we. The verb remains as it is. As you find, sing, sing. After this first category, let us see a second category of present tense. This is present continuous tense. Now we have different examples of sentences which are in present uh, con in which are in present continuous tense as you see. The first example, James is singing a song now. Number two, my children are singing a song now. Number three, they are singing a song now. Number four, he or she or it is singing a song now. Now, from these four sentences, you may find that uh, in each sentence we have the helping verb is or are. And after the helping verb, we should add the main verb which ends with ing. As you see, sing, 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 sing in each of the sentences. But the helping verb is, is used when a pronoun is in singular or when we are dealing with a name of a single individual. And R is used when uh, we are dealing with pronouns which are in plural or nouns which are in plural. Okay, let us see a third category of present tense. This is present perfect tense. In the present perfect tense, we use the helping verb has or have. For example, the first, the first sentence is James has sung a song. Number two, my children have sung a song. Number three, they have sung a song. Number four, he or she or it has sung a song. So, so here you may notice that uh, when we are dealing with a single name or a pronoun he, she or it, the, uh, the helping verb used is has. But when we are dealing with the pronouns like they or we or names which are in plural, as you see here, my children, or the pronoun they, we have used the helping verb have, have. And the main verb should be in past participle. Regardless, we have used the pronoun have or has. Let us see our fourth category. Our fourth category of present tense is present perfect continuous tense. 
uh, we have different examples of sentences which are in present perfect continuous tense, as you see here. Number one, James has been singing a song since the morning. Number two, my children have been singing a song since the morning. Number three, they have been singing a song since the morning. Number four, he or she or it has been singing a song since the morning. From these four sentences, you may find that any sentence which is in a present perfect continuous tense, it should have the word has been or have been and each should be followed by the main verb ending with ing. So this is all about present tense. We are in the continuation of our section about tenses. And I'm going to deal with a second type of a tense, which is past tense. Uh, in past tense, I'm going to give different examples on all four categories. As you remember, we said that uh, we have four categories, which are simple, uh, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. So let us start with the simple past tense. Uh, we have different examples of sentences which are in simple past tense. As you see, the first example uh, is he wrote a letter yesterday. A second one, Ashura wrote a letter yesterday. A third example, her parents wrote a letter yesterday. A fourth one is we wrote a letter yesterday. Uh, if you see in these four sentences, uh, it is that uh, after a pronoun or noun, a verb which follows is a verb which is in simple past. As you know, a simple past of a verb to write is wrote. As you can see, he wrote, Ashura wrote, her parent, yes. And now, after the, now, after we have seen examples uh, of sentences which are in simple past tense, let us shift to a second category, which is past continuous tense. These are examples of sentences which are in past continuous tense. Our first example, he was writing a letter yesterday when his mother came. A second example, Ashura was writing a letter yesterday when her mother came. A third example, her parents were writing a letter yesterday when her young brother broke a glass. Uh, a fourth example is, we were writing a letter yesterday when a thief ran away. So, after we have seen these two first categories, let us see a third category of past tense, which is past perfect tense. The following are the examples of sentences which are in past perfect tense. Our first sentence, after Majuma had finished her homework, she went to sleep. A second sentence, I watched, I watched a television after I had finished my assignment. A third example, a thief had sold all properties when they caught him. A fourth example, the villagers had prepared their farms before the rain season was yet. After these three categories of past tense, let us see a last category, which is past perfect continuous tense. We have various sentences which are in past perfect continuous tense. As you see here, the first example is they had been waiting for you, though you didn't love them. A second example, he had been giving us advice until our mature age. A third example, the tractor that was bought had been working well. So, if you pass through all of these three sentences, you may find that in the sentence which are in past perfect continuous tense, uh, we should have the word had, and after had, it is followed by been, and the last is the main verb, which ends with ing. Continue with the tenses, and we are going to deal with our third type of tenses. 
and this type is future tense. Uh, in future tense, as other previous two tenses, also it is divided into four categories. These categories, if you remember, are simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. Now, let us start with our first category of future tense, which is simple future tense. Uh, any sentence which is in simple future tense is a sentence which obey the following rule. Uh, that sentence should uh, start with a subject. We start with a subject. Uh, after a subject, uh, we add a word will or shall. After the word will or shall, it is followed by the main verb, which is in its infinitive form. A main verb. A main verb in its infinitive form. Infinitive form. So any sentence which is in simple future tense should obey this rule. Now let us see different examples of sentences which are in simple future tense. The first example of our sentence is Jonathan will sing a good song. A second example is Mary will play football tomorrow. A third example is, we shall go to school in the coming days. A fourth example is, my mother will cook banana and beans on next Sunday. Now, in all of these four examples, you may find that after a subject, the word will or shall has been added. As you see, will, will, shall, or here, will. And after the word will or shall, we have added a verb which is in its infinitive form. For example, here, sing, pray, go, and here is cook. So this is the general way we construct various sentences which are in simple future tense. Now, after this first category, let us see a second category, which is future continuous tense. As you see here. Uh, any sentence which is in a future continuous tense should obey the following rule. Uh, we should start with a subject. We start with a subject. Uh, a subject is followed by words will be, will be. After this, after one, after these words will be, uh, it is followed by the main verb ending with ing a main verb a main verb ending with ing uh, here we have four sentences which are in future continuous tense as you see our first sentence uh, they will be dancing music at this time a second one anna will be writing when you live here a third example the students will be studying effectively when an examination is near. A fourth example is, she will be marking their exercise books. Now, you may find in all of these four examples, uh, after the subject, we have the word will be ending with a verb with ing. Will be dancing here, will be writing here, will be studying here, mark here we'll be marking now this is the general way we construct various sentences which are in future continuous tense now let us go to a third category of future tense a third category of future tense is future perfect tense uh, any sentence which is in a future perfect tense should obey the following rule uh, we should start with a subject with a subject after a subject, we add the word will have. Will have. After the word will have, uh, we follow the main verb in past participle. The main verb. The main verb in past participle. And we finish with the remaining part of the sentence. The remaining part. Remaining part of the sentence. So this is the general 
for constructing any sentence which is in future perfect tense. Uh, we have four examples here. Now let us see these examples. Example number one. Our team will have played volleyball by then. Number two. My father will not have gone to USA next month. Number three. She will have finished that work next Monday. Number four. After two coming years, I will have built my own house. Now, when you look each of these four sentences, you may notice that after the subject, uh, we have added the word will have. After will have, we have added the main verb in past participle. And we have finished with the remaining part of the sentence. For example, here we have we have played. We will not have gone. Here we have finished. Here we have finished. Here in the last sentence, we have built. So you may find all of these many verbs are in the past participle and they have been written after the, after the phrase we have. So this is the way we construct various sentences in a future perfect tense. Let us see the last category, which is future, which is a future perfect continuous tense. A fourth category of future tense is future perfect continuous tense. Uh, any sentence which is in a future perfect continuous tense should follow the following rule. Uh, we start with a subject. We start with a subject. After a subject, we add uh, where. After the word where, we add have. After have, we add been. After being, we add a main verb, a main verb which ends with ing, with ing, and lastly, uh, we add the remaining part, the remaining part, we add the remaining part of the sentence. Now, let us see different constructed sentences which I am future perfect continuous tense. Uh, the exam example number one is he will have been bending for the rest of the time. Number two, will I have been helping my wife to cook within that short period of time? Number three, she will have been surprising him on his birthday. Number four, men will not have been studying for his coming test. So, in all of these four sentences, you may find that after the word will, we have added have, after have, been, after being, a main verb ending with ing. For example, in the first sentence we see we have, will have been bending. In a second sentence, will I have been helping? In a third sentence, will have been surprising. In a fourth sentence, will not have been studying. So this is the way we construct various sentences which are in future perfect continuous tense. Thank you for attending today's session. I welcome you in the next sessions. Have a nice moment. Bye.